What's up everyone, my name is Matthew Dale and today we're going to talk about the pitch block. Now, I'm fairly new to the pitch block, but as I was dialing in some tones for a gig the other day, I realized just how useful and just how versatile this block can be. Now, before we begin, if you are new to the Fractal products or if you've been a Fractal user for a long time, but you still find it a little bit daunting to choose what amplifier, what cab, and what settings to twist to dial in the tone in your head, I've put together a free gift that I want to give you, my Fractal Favorites Amps and Cabs Guide. I take you through a number of versatile and great sounding amplifiers. I show you what settings I twist to dial in some of those great tones. And I also give you some of my choice factory cabs that I find make it really easy to dial in those tones. So if you want an easier way to dial in some excellent tones in your Fractal, go ahead and hit the link in the description below and download my Fractal Favorites Amps and Cabs Guide. Now let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what makes the pitch block so special. First things first, I've got two amplifiers called up here. I've got the Band Commander. For some great clean tones, and then I've also got one of my favorites, the Carol Anticana. For some dirty Marshall stuff. Now I'm gonna switch back over to the Band Commander here, and I'm gonna drop the pitch block in just in series here, so nothing crazy going on. And as we turn it on, we get this, which is a little underwhelming. There's not really much going on there, right? There's clean, here's the pitch. Now, today I'm gonna to be focusing on both the dual detune modes and the quad detune modes. And I find that it needs a little bit of a level boost. So I'm going to go ahead and move my level control to add 3 dB to the sound. So I'm doing this over here in the level block. And that way it's a little bit less noticeable when I'm bringing the pitch block in and out. So here it is out. And of course that is something that you can adjust to taste. I find like starting around 3 dB seems to work pretty well. Now, I first realized just how cool the pitch block is when I was trying to dial in a chorus tone, but I couldn't run uh, in that particular gig in stereo. I really like stereo chorus. I don't really like mono chorus very well. So I was trying a couple things out and I landed on the pitch block. And if I just leave this pitch block in mono and I move a couple of voices up, you know, roughly around 10 cents or so in either direction, I'm gonna move one side up and one side down. Eight and a half, nine, something not the same, but around 10 seems to do pretty good. Even in mono, I've got this great sounding, controllable, not cheesy sounding chorus. Something that really makes clean guitar sound really, really, really good. So if you are running in mono a lot and you use a chorus a lot, give the pitch block a try and you might find that it's a little more controllable. We can boost these up quite a bit more if I go around to 15%, then it sounds a little bit more like a typical chorus. <laughs> I kind of like it a little bit around 10 or a little bit under for something that's really nice and clean. Now, if we want a little bit more stereo goodness out of this, let's hard pan these voices left and right. Now we have this. And now we've got that dry signal that's staying right in the center and we've got those detuned voices both left and right. Now, for me, I could actually go a little bit more on these now since they're they're cleaned up from the original signal. Now, we've also got some delay in here as well. So if I dial in, I don't know, 30 milliseconds-ish of delay. Now I've got kind of this faux room sound or almost this slap back delay sound. The reverb that I'm running in here is just a London plate, not very much going on. If I go ahead and I bypass it and we just listen to the pitch block, we get this. Let's hear what that sounds like with the Takana, just so we can hear what this is sounding like. And 
and here it is off and on adds just so much bigness and richness without being quite as messy as a lot of reverb and delay might be. Now I'm going to pop the reverb back on with this. And it's just adding a subtle little tail there. I'm going to click back over to the band commander here. And we can actually dial in quite a bit more delay in this if I go up and let's see, we're right around 200 and 250 or so. Now, what I might do with that, you'll notice that my mix control is over here at 50. I'm gonna leave it at 50 right now, but if that's a little bit too much delay, I might dial the individual levels back. Now, that's not the most useful delay sound, but luckily one of the newer additions in the Fractal Universe is the dual detune delay which gives you a lot more delay parameters to work with. So I still have in voice one, my original detune uh, in voice one and two, and now I can dial in. I'm gonna throw these levels back to 100%. I'm gonna dial in some more delay and you'll see that this is actually going up quite a bit quicker. So I'm gonna do kind of the standard 350 and 500 milliseconds type deal. <laughs> And now I've also got feedback control. So I can feedback one into voice one. I can feedback one into voice two and feedback voice two. I can dial in some more feedback for some more lushness. And if that's a little bit too extreme, I'll bring the individual with voices down. So I've actually got a lot of delay that I can dial in here with this pitch block. If you are someone that runs out of CPU space because you're using so many blocks, give the pitch block a try because it can kind of be your get out of jail free card. Now, if we really want to take this to the extreme, let's pull up the quad detune and we've got two additional voices we can detune. So this is sort of my original. <laughs> And if I go down to voice three and four, let's go and do detune these a bit more. So I'm, I'll be somewhere around 20-ish or so, maybe a little bit more. And I'm gonna soft pan these just to give this a little more interest, right around 50% in either direction. <laughs> And this really kind of sounds like a faux Leslie. This is a good way to, I know there's a rotary block built in, but again, if you need to save some space, the pitch block can be your get out of jail free card. We can kind of further the space here if we add in just a skosh of delay on either voice. Kind of gives you a little bit of that organ sound. Now the quad detune is also gonna be great for making our lead sound huge like this. So if I dial in some more delay, I'll be somewhere like, I don't know, 320 and 460 or something, sort of, you know, that same, around that same ratio, 350 to 500. You can t tempo sync these as well, but I'm not gonna worry about that here. And I'll just do some real short delays here. <laughs> And it's a little bit warbly. So I'm gonna move the detune back down and we'll go under nine for these. And then we get a lot of added hugeness. Now that's probably pretty busy. So I'm actually gonna back down on the level control of the delay a bit, and then maybe also the voices, just so it's a little bit cleaner, and I can hear a little more of that dry signal.
Maybe a little less on the bigger delays. <laughs> That sounds pretty good. This is also kind of like a cool way to do some double tracking type stuff. Something kind of like that really works well. Now, if you keep the same idea going, but with a clean tone, you can kind of do a uh, an Eric Johnson type clean tone sort of thing. I might dial in a little bit more of the delay, and maybe we'll go back and we'll add some feedback to these as well, so we got a little bit more delay action going on. So with just these two types in this one block, we've dialed in a chorus tone, a room reverb, or a slapback delay sound. We did a faux rotary sound, and we did this added big, lush, reverb, chorus, stereo spread sort of thing. So there is a ton of stuff going on in the fractal pitch block, which now makes it one of my favorite things to use and sort of the secret sauce that you can add onto a ton of your presets. Remember, if you want a quick reference guide onto some killer amp sounds and some great cabs in the factory banks to use, download my Fractal Favorites Amps and Cabs Guide. It's sure to help you out. My name is Matthew Dale. I'll see you in the next one.